Hi friends, hello the world, welcome back to this episode of introducing you tools for transitioning humanitarians and I started it yesterday and I'm getting so excited to be introducing you a tool, um, as many tools as possible for you to make your transitioning as successful as you want it to be and therefore today I will be introducing the second tool um, in the importance I guess in some way um, that also helps us measure the temperature the uh, the atmosphere uh, the way that we're doing how we're doing it all of this we will be measuring with feeling parameter that I invented based of course on feelings only but you can use this tool for many other things as well which I will give you some ideas for so feelings, uh, emotions are, we know that are like moving, driving force within us, the energy or force, whichever the way you want to describe it. This is the reason why we do things. This is the reason why we don't do things. And also this is the reason why we avoid doing certain things because we are fearful or we actually uh, keep suppressing so that we don't go move forward. So you can see that feelings, emotions are like essential compass of our lives, essential guiding post of our lives. Yet we have lots of labels that prevent us from really getting curious about them. Uh, we have lots of ways to be afraid of them so that we don't really get to know our feelings or we don't really get trainings or, I don't know, teachings around them. So therefore, we, many of us, unfortunately, live our lives throughout our lives without really getting to know them or busy fixing them or busy numbing them, busy suppressing them. Even though more and more we're now talking about how feelings, emotions are, are messengers within to be telling us something is not right or to be telling us this is not how we want to do it or this is how we want to do it, right? They are there to tell us what's going on basically within us so that we can then steer to the right course that we want to or keep in that course because this is the right one. And because um, um, I have been seeing so many of uh, fear around feelings or uh, very, very being very superficial around feelings that I thought that we need some kind of a parameter to measure where we are at in our feeling spectrum. And I love looking at things from spectrum so that it's not black and white, but rather so many different shades, so many different uh, colors of uh, feelings, obviously. And I have put here the extremes of the two. So the bottom line, I put the, I put the fear and the upper line, I put freedom. And all of the feelings in between obviously come here, whatever the one that you think you can put it here. Now, the the way that I have understood from uh, observing my own life and uh, working with so many clients is that whenever we are so often in this part of the spectrum, we don't tend to like our lives a lot. But if we're on this part of the spectrum, we tend to love our lives a lot. So that's why I thought, how can we get people to understand that Whatever the spectrum, whatever the feelings that are coming here in between are being created by us. Even though oftentimes we believe that they just happen to us or they're just like, uh, this is what happened. I don't know. This is how I reacted or this is how I did or what I did. So maybe a lot of the things, of course, our uh, brain and our bodies generate subconsciously or unconsciously. I don't know what the exact term. I think unconsciously, right? We are without us really being aware of it. But still, they're all being created by us. And they're all being created for us by us. So whenever we look at it from that perspective, then I thought we need some kind of a tool that is neutral, a neutral instrument, instead of labeling our feelings like negative or positive, which 
then uh, makes our brain automatically avoid the negative. Let's look at this tool as a neutral instrument to look at, this is how it is as if we would measure the temperature of our body if we got sick, or this is how we would measure the temperature of the air or the pressure like the barometer does, right? The same way that we need some kind of a tool that is within us as if like we're regulating it, and then we will understand it where our actions are coming from. What a part of the spectrum we're in when we're taking actions, when we're making decisions. How, uh, what feelings are fueling our actions, right? So where are we here, for instance, and how do we want to go here? Another way to also use this um, uh, instrument or why I thought we need this type of instrument is to look at when to intervene, meaning that when we are down below here, how we can then create the safety to go us to go to bring ourselves a bit here in the middle. And of course, the fourth reason to really visualize for ourselves is that whatever the feelings that we're having, we are the one creating it, meaning our bodies, our minds are creating it. And therefore, we also have the tools to self-regulate it, right? So if we end up, if we find ourselves here, then we are the ones also who can bring ourselves here if we wanted to, or also stay where we are now, right? So that's why I thought of visualizing the parameter like this, so that for you to have this visual, of how you can use it. Another way that I thought we could use it as well um, that I'm trying out now is this part of the spectrum is my ordinary life, right? Meaning that I do things the way I always do, um, my habitual things, uh, and this is the part that is my highest self, meaning the version that I aspire to be living or to be exercising, to be embodying every day. And how can I get myself to here all of the time or most of the time whenever I, I remember it? So when we have an instrument like this, then the question is, how are we going to um, use it for um, for our lives, right? So, so the basic things, of course, you can do it is look at your life currently, uh, how the way you treat yourself, the way you treat your colleagues or the way you treat your loved ones or the way you have relationships. And then look at how you feel about all of those things and where in this spectrum do they fall. So important that, excuse me, you don't hang up on uh, what that exact feeling is, or uh, maybe for some of us, it's not easy to recognize what the feeling is. So that's why it's just, excuse me, important just to put it somewhere here or somewhere here, and then finding out how you see that relationship. For instance, let's say that we even numbered these spectrums and say, here is the zero, here is 10, from zero to 10, what would be your, uh, definition or what would be your feeling about this work? What would be your feeling about this uh, decision? What would be your feeling about this relationship, right? So let's say it's like five and then we can get curious as to why it's five. How do we want to make it maybe 10 or how do we want to keep it as five or whatever the thing that we're wanting to intend afterwards? So you can see that it's like a a tool to get curious as to what is it that we are observing currently? What are feelings in terms of whatever that we're experiencing in relationships, in work, or some particular problem? Uh, and then what we want to do about it. The other one that we can also do is, for instance, if we're taking a decision, right? So let's say that you decide you are deciding to take a, a, a transitioning to something totally different that you're wanting, uh, and then asking yourself, is this decision really coming from freedom? Meaning that uh, you feel like this is exactly what you want to do. Uh, you are doing it without any rush, without avoiding anything, feeling calm and peaceful, grounded, connected, and then making a decision. Or you are doing it out of fear, meaning that 
um, I have to really get out of here or I have to really be there. Otherwise, I will lose my uh, relationships or I can I will be losing this or whatever else that you might be thinking coming from this fear. Because whenever we are making decisions out of fear, then we are likely to generate more fear along the way. And then we may not like whatever we are uh, experiencing, we are uh, creating. But whenever we are taking decisions out of freedom, then we're likely to like our um, our decisions. We're likely to uh, go for it committedly uh, and all of this. So the way that I thought how we could use this parameter is focusing on the feelings, right? And then moving this feeling like here and here, like as if we had the the tool to get us from here to here or back to the middle or to closer to the uh to the uh, to this part so and then imagine that you could use your own emotions in this way of regulating it right so regulating whichever the way you want to so obviously the the way that we will be doing that is for instance let's say that you're taking a decision about transitioning and then you feel like it's really coming from fear of uh missing something or feel fear of uh avoiding something right and then you get curious as to what is it that you're avoiding and uh uh, what thoughts comes up when you think about uh, what is it that you're avoiding, right? So, and then uh, when you look at your thoughts and then you decide, do you want to do something about your thoughts or do you want to um, um, decide on these thoughts? Or you could also look at it, how do you want to make decisions out of freedom? What is the attachment? Because um, I didn't um, introduce it here, by the way, is that the way that you will be feeling the fear is likely one of these things. Like if something is new happening that you'll be feeling fear or if it's something uh, scarce, constraining that um, happens in your body, like feeling attached to something is also generated by fear. Some kind of a deficit that you may be feeling or the survival mode that you might be in or forcing yourself, right? So these might be the ways that you're feeling the fear on the spectrum. And then whenever you are making a decision about something about transitioning, and then you feel like it's really coming from fear, from these places, then maybe it's time to just take time to ponder more, reflect more about it without taking any step further in the decisions. Um, because these might be telling you that um, you are not ready, you are scared, or you are um, you will be uh, risking too much or whatever it is that your fear might be telling you. So that's why it's now indication of you getting just curious and allow all of those uh, feelings to be there and then getting to know what they're really saying to you. And then once you get to know all of these fears and then you can get curious as to how do you want to um, bring whatever the feeling that you want to take decision from, how do you want to bring that feeling to here and then take a decision, right? So for instance, maybe you will be putting some safeguards uh, for yourself, like in terms of savings, in terms of um, taking only a short period of time to see how that goes, whatever the safeties you want to put so that your feeling then becomes more and more here. And then from here, from the freedom, then you can make a decision. Yes, I will try or I can try and I will see how that goes. Right. So that's why this could be a great way for you, like visualizing even in your own mind as to how you are getting yourself from uh, fear to all the way to freedom to be doing whatever you want to, for instance. And the way that you will be then uh, feeling when you take a decision is it will sound like very trusting, calm, peaceful, loving, that this is a loving thing for to do. And this is something that you are doing it because you want to be thriving. You want to be having this uh, impact. You want to be having this uh, time with your loved ones. And then when you notice that you, the decision you are taking is from this place of 
yes, you know how to do or what to do, how to handle it. Um, and then you will be also knowing that when uh, your feeling comes this way, you know how to get it back up there. Now, the way that we do it in the coaching uh, world, obviously, uh, where we help our clients is exactly this, is getting to understand and getting to get curious about feelings and then helping them also um, develop this trusting relationships with feelings. And then based on these feelings, we start then getting curious as to what thoughts, what beliefs are generating these feelings all of the time. Right. Maybe some of the thoughts will be that I'm not good enough or I'm not uh, going to um, be successful or I'm not lucky or whatever the thoughts that are creating these feelings of scarcity, feelings of fear. And then we can look at these uh, thoughts and uh, getting again curious as to how we want to change those thoughts or if we have difficulty um, under understanding or uh, uh, making it pragmatic, then we can also say, okay, these are the feelings being generated by these thoughts. What feelings instead we want to have, right? And then what uh, what thoughts could generate those feelings? And then start taking action from those uh, feelings, right? So this is the, the model that uh, I will be introducing in one of the other tools as well that is uh, created by Brooke Castillo, the way that I know it. Um, and uh, this will be the model that we will be using to regulate this uh, barometer to get yourself from here to here or other way around. Now, when I say other way around, maybe you're curious as to, well, who would uh, bring uh, themselves to the fear unintentionally, right? But uh, you notice that whenever we are starting something new, whenever we are growing, whenever we are wanting to go on a journey, we will be experiencing fear and we will be intentional about it as well, meaning that we will allow that fear to be there. We will allow the doubt and all the confusion, everything to uh, be there so that uh, we move, keep moving forward in our journey, irrespective of uh, all of these feelings coming up, because we know that naturally when we're starting something new, whatever it is, they are likely to be there and allowing the space for them to be there. So that's why we will be intentionally keeping ourselves here as we move forward. And then as we get better in our transitioning journey, we go towards this freedom, right? So you can see that uh, this way of visualizing, at least for me, helps uh, taking whatever the actions I want and check with myself, okay, is this action coming from freedom or is this action coming from fear? For instance, uh, if I'm setting some boundaries at work or with my loved ones, uh, am I doing this out of love or am I doing it out of fear? Because whenever we I'm setting a boundary out of fear, I know that it's not likely to be um, effective because the way that I communicated, the way that I um, expressed it, or the way that I'm feeling in the moment when I said it, um, because it may come from uh, anger, it may come from uh, frustration, uh, and then not from a clean place. And therefore, it's likely to generate a similar reaction from the other side. So therefore, the boundary conversation is somehow gets unnoticed. But if I'm doing this uh, boundary from a freedom of this is what I would love to do and this is how I'd like to do it and then communicate peacefully in calm manner to the other person for them to understand in a loving way, then it has a more likelihood of this working because the other person will be also coming uh, to me with that type of reaction and understanding and loving and and then respecting that boundary. So you can see that I um, use this in a lot of my actions before taking actions or even when I have taken actions and then getting curious as to, did I really do this out of freedom or did I do it out of fear? Uh, or the outcome that I see that I don't really like, I can then get curious and look at it. Did I really uh, did, uh, created this result out of fear that I will miss out of some, on something or that I won't be liked by someone or I need to impress someone, right? So did I really do that? In which case I don't like the outcome. 
right? Because if I took the, uh, if I decided to impress someone in order to get uh, some uh, recognition or some uh, appraisal or approval from that person, and I did it out of fear, meaning that uh, fearful of not being liked or being approved, and then let's say that person does it, and then next time I'm a bit resentful that I didn't really show up the way that I wanted to, right? So that's why this tool is also great to check myself is, Am I showing up the way I want to? And probably if I am, then it comes in this spectrum because I feel free to be showing up the way I want to, doing whatever I want to, saying things the way I want to, right? Without hearing the other person's reaction. Or am I showing up in this spectrum? And in which case I'm constraining myself because I have some, some type of fear that someone will not like me or will judge me or not uh, approve me or I need to prove and I'm in this place and then I get curious without um, treating myself bad or without uh, punishing myself I just get curious as to how do I want to now get back to where I want to be and how do I want to stay in this part of the portion of my barometer, right? So um, I hope that this tool is uh, helpful for you to understand how you are actually in charge of your feelings. You can put any of the feelings in this spectrum to get curious as to what they're really telling you um, and also get curious as to how you can regulate those feelings from one spectrum to another um, you can also make it very scientific and neutral to look at it instead of judging it or uh, labeling it as I shouldn't feel this, I shouldn't be um, uh, uh, feeling when I do this uh, or resisting it, right? But instead of resisting or judgment uh, or labeling, you can just get curious and then looking at, okay, which part of the spectrum I am currently am? What is it really happening? How do I want to get myself to this part? The part that I really want to act from, show up from, or create my success from. And then um, uh, if I'm not doing it, why I'm not doing it, right? So there must be some kind of a fear. So how do I get myself out here? And the other, uh, the last point that I may have forgotten to mention it is also that if I'm really wanting my transition to be successful and I'm like very attached, it has to work, then obviously it's in this part. And whenever we are in this part, it's difficult to make things successful because we are somehow attached to something, right? So that's why uh, whenever we are thinking of like transitioning being successful, then uh, get curious as to when I think of success, what feeling comes up, right? So maybe it's freedom, maybe it's calm, maybe it's peaceful, maybe it's uh, financial freedom, whatever the freedom. And then you know what the feeling is. And then you can get curious as to how you want to generate that feeling of success already now without even transitioning to anywhere else. And, and if you're not generating that feeling of whatever the freedom, then ask yourself why you're not doing it, right? So in other words, getting back the ownership of how you can actually self-regulate this, uh, or you can uh, self-regulate this with a coach, with, um, um, with your own reflections, right? So why you are not doing it. Uh, why uh, this uh, you are not here, why you are not putting yourself here. And then also get curious as to when your brain says, well, it's not possible because of this and because of others. And then you can then remind yourself again to say, yes, all of these circumstances are out here, but what if I could do a lot on my end to put myself in this part, no matter what the circumstances is? What if I could bring myself to my um, uh, uh, to my uh, success, uh, transition success, no matter what the outcome is here, right? How, what if I could do that or how I could regulate myself or um, uh, manage my emotions so that I get to the place that I want to? Okay, my dears, so now that you have uh, heard me introduce this tool in so many different ways, I hope that you will uh, 
uh, try it out for yourself and find out how you're using it, uh, how, um, uh, what are the ways that you have used that was helpful. I would love to hear from you uh, about this um, uh, tool. Uh, I'm so excited and happy that I'm uh, able to create this tool and present it to you. And if you'd like to apply this more um, in depth and uh, also uh, get curious as to what the outcomes of in, uh, using these tools, then absolutely join me in my group coaching program, excuse me, or come to work with me individually. And we would love, I would love to help you get your life to this part uh, on all of your relationships, on all of your uh, actions that you're taking or on all, all of your uh, impact that you're creating, that you do this from this um, spectrum so that you love it more, so that you see the sense of it, so that you really deeply committed that you want to keep growing this freedom within you to be doing whatever you want to do and to be living the life that you really want. Okay, my dear, see you next time with another tool.